So they call it crisscross applesauce, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, well that seems like a good name for it. So, um, what is your name? Sophie. Sophie, nice to meet you. Sophie, my name is Russell. Uh, what do people call you? All that? Really? People call me Russell Owen Davis, the magician guy over in Huntsville. It is a lot of names. Let's just go with Russell and Sophie. Okay, we have a deal. Sophie, we're going to do some magic with a piece of rope and a pair of scissors. Do you have any rope? You do? Do you have it on you? You don't see any? Do you know anybody who might have rope right here now, today? Anybody at all who might have a piece of rope? Sophie! Sophie! Sophie, do you have anybody? Anybody who might, do you, you know somebody who might actually bring rope to a magic show? It's me! Yes! <laughs> It is. Now, technically this is not rope, but it does have the word rope in it, so close enough. This is a book on rope magic. Sophie and I are going to read this. We will learn how to do rope magic, and then we will do the rope magic. This will take about 30 to 37 minutes. I hope you all can just wait around while we do this. Here we go. Self-working rope magic. Seventy foolproof tricks. That's the kind I need. So we're going to, are you all in a hurry or anything? Yeah. We will speed up the process. <laughs> Got it? Yes. yes. <laughs> She's a quick study. Sophie, now we need a piece of rope and a pair of scissors. Stand right over there on that line. Good. Sophie, notice, notice that one end one end of the rope is longer than the other end of the rope, okay? I got a special price just for that, but I also have scissors so I can even up the two ends of the rope. I will even up the two ends of the rope using these scissors. Watch this. I'll try not to. That actually was my plan. I'm like, you know what? I think I'll cut my finger. I am glad you told me not to. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to even up the ends of the rope. Here's how I do it. Watch this. This is cool. There's another way to even up the two ends. And that's sort of, uh, sort of uh, like that. And now I will give exactly half the rope to Sophie by cutting it exactly half in two. Right in the middle. You can tell it's the middle. Hang on. We are looking for the middle. We are looking for the middle. We are still looking for the middle. Did I miss the middle? You know I missed the middle. I wish it was here right now. The middle is gone. Okay, that's done. Sophie, we will cut it in the middle. Before I cut this in the middle, I need to ask you a very important question. How old are you? Six. You know, when I was your age, I was 13. That is crazy. Sophie, the scissors go here. Where do the scissors go? Right there. Right. These two ends are even because we trim those off. These two ends are also even because I cut it exactly in the middle. <laughs> Sophie, help me out here. How does that look? Yeah. Yeah, right there. That's what Sophie said. How about this? Yeah. All right. yeah. Finally, I've got it right. Good. Here, let's do that. You can leave those down there. I will pick those up later. Sophie, we're going now to use a magic wand. We don't have a magic wand, so we will use the scissors. Magic scissors. Hold the scissors just like this. Hold them like that. Good. Wave the scissors magically over the two pieces. Good. Give my hand a magic tap with a magic scissors. Perhaps harder would be more magical. <laughs> Little owl. <laughs> That's okay, it didn't hurt. Since Sophie has done this to a 
amazing things have happened. Two amazing things have happened. One thing is this, there's a red mark on my thumb. <laughs> the second thing is this, the two pieces have magically turned into one long, watch this, piece. Watch this. Let's hear from amazing Sophie, ladies and gentlemen. Around. No, that's a magic wand, but let's pretend that scissors. I will cut the rope exactly in the middle or close enough. I will I will cut. Did I say cut? I, I will hack at the rope. I will need to borrow a chainsaw because this is not working. Or perhaps that didn't take long. Sophie and I are going to turn two pieces into one. There are two ways to do this. One way is called the easy way. Sophie, hold out your arm. Keep your hand just like this. Remember the goal, two into one. We rub the two pieces together like this. Then we have, yes, you're raising your hand. You have a question in the back of the room? No? Okay. One solid piece. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Plus, there's a bonus piece on her arm. Sophie, there's a better way to turn two into one. Do you have any idea what I'm trying to do? That's right. If I do that, is it really one piece or is it not? Was that a pawn or was it not? Sophie, hold out your hand just like this. Make a very light fist around the two ends. Keep holding on and move slowly toward the floor. Slowly toward the ceiling and slowly, slowly open. Yee. Hold one end of that. Hold one end. Yeah. Let's have the amazing Sophie, ladies and gentlemen.